Diversity Introduction India is a vast country as well as the world's largest democracy. The Republic of India is a land of heterogeneous racial, lingual, religious and social groups which are further divided into various castes, classes and sects. Running through all these diversities is the thread of India's basic unity which makes it a big nation of a rich composite culture. From Arunachal Pradesh to Gujarat, there exists the Indian culture, which holds the bond of unity across all the cultures of the country. Our unity in diversity is the backbone of our national development. Diversity in Family Structure Generally, it is seen that there are two types of families in India, joint families and nuclear families. In a joint family, all the members of the family live together under one roof and there is also a head in the family, probably the grandfather or the grandmother. While in a nuclear family, parents live with their children, where either the father or the mother is the head of the family. Thus, the custom of joint family has prevailed for a long time in India because it has few advantages of its own. Cultural Diversity Cultural diversity is a new universal ethic in the course of development and peace. The man-made environment also develops culture. The culture of a society means its customs, ideas, art, religion, music, dance, etc. The food habits of the people, the festivals they celebrate and their art and handicrafts are all part of the culture. Diversity in economic activities. When man began to live in society, the activities were divided into three categories such as primary activities like agriculture, hunting, fishing, herding, etc. Secondary activities like weaving, dyeing, carpentry, etc. And tertiary activities like teaching, banking, engineering, etc. Diversity in language, caste, religion and ways of worship. The people living in different parts of India are different. They belong to different castes, races and tribes. Their features, food habits, dresses, social customs and languages are different. In the sphere of religion also, a great variety is found in India. Our constitution has accepted these diversities and people can worship God in their own way. They go to temples, mosques, gurdwaras and churches for praying. The modes of worship also vary even within the same religion. Need for Diversity We see diversity everywhere in natural things and human beings. Two humans are not the same. We live in the same manner but think differently. We wear same clothes of different colours. We react in different manner. Indian constitution has accepted all these diversities and allowed people to follow their own faith and worship God in their own way. So, unity is not possible in all respects. One can be a good doctor or a good engineer but may not be a good singer. There are farmers, lawyers, teachers, doctors, masons, ironsmiths, shopkeepers, etc. All these people have acquired different skills. Strength in Cultural Diversity India has preserved its ancient civilization and never lost sight of the ideals. India continues to live with some of its traditional values. In the world, many countries are breaking into micro-entities. The composite culture of India has made it a truly vibrant democratic country where unity thrives on diversity. India's diversity has been considered as a source of her strength. Geographical factors that influence the diversity of the region The geographical factors influence the diversity of a region. The lifestyle of the people and their food habits depend on the geographical condition of a place. In Bengal and Bihar, people like the preparations of rice because the estates are good for the cultivation of paddy. Kashmiris wear long woolen firans due to cold region. Thus, 
we see that geographical conditions of a place have a deep impact on the lifestyle of the people. Historical factors that influence the diversity of the region. India has trade relations with Eastern and European countries from ancient time. Merchants from other countries came to India to strengthen trade relations. Many kings with their nobles came to India and settled here. They brought their faith, culture and tradition with them. Political and Geographical Unity In ancient India, India remained isolated from other countries due to geographical conditions. The natural boundaries have separated it from the rest of Asia. The Himalayas in the north, the Assam hills in the northeast, the Sulaiman range and other mountains in the northwest and the eastern and western ghats in the south have kept India as a separate unit in the world. After achieving independence, India as a whole has been governed by the same laws and constitution. Thus, we see political and geographical unity in India. Unity in Diversity There are many factors that promote unity of India. Geographical conditions have made India a single unit while it has physical, climatic and regional differences. In our ancient religious literature, too, the entire country has been mentioned under one name, Bharat Varsha. This establishes the fact that India was considered a single country even in ancient times. Our freedom struggle showed the spirit of common brotherhood. All communities of India were united against British rulers. Need for integration Our country is a developing country. Many people are poor and illiterate in India. We have scant resources. We should not practice social discrimination based on inequality of skills. We should try to get rid of our prejudices based on ignorance.